Hey, what is up everybody? It's your boy King K. So I just want to apologize if I am a little bit all over the place or struggle with my words. This is most likely going to be the most difficult video I have ever made or possibly ever will make. I've been trying to psych myself up and find the strength to record this, but now that I'm in front of the camera, it's become a lot more difficult. Also, speaking of camera, I do apologize if the quality of this video is uh, lower than what you guys are used to. I'm recording this on my phone right now and I don't know when or even how I'm going to edit this, but I guess I'll figure that out. Now, where to begin? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose I should start from, well, the start where everything began to unravel and uh, what has led to this moment right here. So a couple of weeks ago, I started to get really fed up with the performance of my computer. It was just over the months, just been getting worse and worse. And I decided to take action. I decided to reinstall my windows, optimize everything from the start because that usually tends to help in these situations. And I figured, you know what, whilst I'm busy, I may as well just give my computer a thorough deep clean because it's been a while since I last did that. And I've cleaned my computer out multiple times before. I, I know what I'm doing in these cases. For some reason, somewhere along the lines, something went wrong. You see, I basically rebuilt the entire PC from scratch, uh, just cleaning out every nook and cranny I possibly could. And when it came to uh, it being done, it was fully assembled, I went to switch it on and it just did not start at all. Initially, I thought that my power supply may have surged and I did a bunch of troubleshooting and eventually I did get it to start, but it would not post at all. It kept giving me a CPU issue. I kept troubleshooting. I kept trying a bunch of different things because when it comes to a CPU error, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an issue with your CPU. It could still be the power supply, it could be the board, it could be the RAM, it could be your GPU. It could be a, a, a magnitude of things because in order for your computer to post and boot, it requires to go through multiple, um, how would I say, protocols. We, we'll put it that way. At some point, I just kind of gave up, decided this was outside of my own personal expertise and I decided to send it in to a technician to check everything out, see what was causing the issue. And they basically got back to me and said that the CPU socket on the motherboard was dead. It was just gone. Nothing you could really do about it. Uh, you can't, you could, it's not an easy issue to fix. Now they were unfortunately not able to test out the CPU itself uh, because they didn't have a compatible motherboard on hand. So I'm not sure if it's only an issue with the motherboard or if the CPU is actually damaged as well. I'm really hoping that is not the case. I have managed to order a new motherboard, which should be arriving in a week or two. And if, if it does arrive, or when it does arrive, and if the CPU is fine, then I should be up and running again fairly soon. Uh, if not, and the CPU is not fine, then it will likely take me quite a bit longer to get myself up and running again. But Best case scenario, I'm up and running again in two weeks, three weeks from now. However, uh, and this is where, you know, the, the, the table turns, the turntables. Even once I'm up and running again, I will not be returning to content creation at, uh, at least not for a while. How long that may end up being, I'm not sure. It could be a couple of months. It could be a couple of years. I, 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 I really don't know. You see, the only reason I was able to procure a new motherboard within a relatively short amount of time was thanks to the financial support of, of my family, uh, which is something that I'm very grateful of, but not exactly something that I'm happy about. To explain myself, and just to be honest with you guys, I have pretty much grown up in poverty, okay? Uh, finances have always been a struggle. Uh, for me and my family at times. And it, it's a never ending endeavor really up until this point. And the reason I'm unhappy about it is because I've kind of just grown weary and, and really tired of needing to rely on the help of others in order to keep myself afloat, in order to keep myself going. Um, I'm sit, you know, this keyboard, for example, is broken. Okay, I've had it for like the last three years. 
I've had to jerry-rig basically a wire between two of the solder points in order to keep it working because the board broke uh, and that's kind of the situation when it comes to a lot of my things. Uh, if something breaks I try to fix it, I can't afford to replace it and if something really really breaks then I often need help from others in order to replace it and, and, and keep things working and I've just really grown fed up with this over the years. So to make a really long story short as can be, um, I took my motherboard breaking as a, as a sign really instead of just an, an incident, uh, you know, a stepping stone in life. I didn't see it just as that. I saw it as way more. I saw it as a sign for me to just go out there, put my dream aside and, and, and find myself and work on myself and work towards um, getting work and becoming independent and focusing on my studies and, and just overcoming a bunch of shit in my life and just finding stability and getting on my feet because I feel that at this point I'm 22 years old, I have been studying but I, I'm without work and I've, I've been grinding, um, um, I've been on this journey trying to uh, make a success of myself through content and I feel that you know, maybe it's just not the right time for me to be doing this. Maybe I should just step out of my comfort zone, step out that door and just find myself and find my independence first and then come back and, and do things properly from day one. Just work on it. Just just get it to work and have the backing, the financial backing, the, the, the educational backing to make a real success of myself rather than doing what I've been doing now. You see, despite what a lot of people may think, content creation, I would personally say, is one of the harder jobs that you can take on. It's not easy. It's not as, as simple as just putting up a camera, making a video and getting a million views. It's not some easy way to get rich. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. If you didn't know that, that's the fucking truth. Okay, it's really not easy to do this. I often sit here for, I get up in the morning, I get done with a couple of things, I sit behind my computer and I, I work for 10 to 14, 16 hours a day at a time uh, because, and, and that's not including streaming, okay? It's not including streaming. I can stream for eight hours. That's the easy part, okay? Playing games, chatting with people, that's the easy part. It becomes a lot more difficult when you need to record videos, constantly think of ideas, editing, editing takes an eternity. Uh, making thumbnails, doing research, search engine optimization. It's just constantly having to be within a creative flow. And this is like, in terms of videos, in terms of live streams, in terms of even short videos, you'd think that oh, it's just a short video. It's like 30 seconds. It probably takes you like a minute to minute. No, it doesn't. For someone like me who focuses a lot more on quality over quantity, even a short video can take 30 seconds that will take me like two, three hours to record, edit, create an image for, get a title or hashtag, everything, okay? Everything. And um, when it comes to content creation, you either work your ass off or you get really lucky or you just never succeed. I don't want to dabble into all of it. I'm just saying that despite what people think, uh, content creation is <laughs> it's not an easy job whatsoever. and as it currently stands, uh, and possibly for quite some time, it's not paying the bills, okay? I am monetized, I do earn money. It, it's basically chump change, okay? If you were to um, work off rate per hour and doing commission, I would make 100 times more money doing commissions within half the amount of time uh, that I do uh, making content. Uh, and that's just kind of how it goes for a small content creator. You, you, you work your butt off, get into the YouTube Partner Program, get monetized, you start earning money, and then you realize that you've only really just begun. Despite all of those hundreds, if not thousands of hours you put in, uh, your journey has only begun. That's only the start. I don't want to make this like a 20 minute long video, so I'm going to stop rambling about content creation. Um, I'm not saying it's a miserable job. It can be at times, but it's not. It's a difficult one, and it's something that I just cannot keep um, constantly working on. 
I have decided just to step away entirely. I know I've taken extended breaks um, from making content before, uh, but this is not just like a rest break. It's not just for my mental health. It's so much more. I genuinely just want to put uh, distance between myself and social media and, and content creation. I don't want to look at analytics. I don't want to see if my subscriber growth is um, is good or not for this month. I don't want to see the revenue earnings. I don't want to look at views. So I really just wanted to put space between myself and that, that world and uh, focus on myself, um, try to be healthier. I do not live a healthy lifestyle, that is for sure. Uh, get myself into routine, uh, start working out, um, overcome a bunch of shit from my past, which I never really have time to do. I never have time to rest, really. I'm just constantly busy or constantly focused on something or, or constantly making content or just thinking about content or anything along those lines, really. So I want to put space between them. Uh, myself and that world, like I said, I want to focus on my studies. I want to focus on, on getting work, on getting on my feet, becoming stable and, and independent so that I can, I can look ahead. And once I reach that goal, again, I don't know how long it'll take. I will come back stronger than ever, probably looking very different, <laughs> probably uh, just a new better me. Maybe I'll do at some point or another when I'm up and running again, uh, casual live streams every now and again, uh, just to chat with you guys, see you guys, entertain a bit. Uh, but no, like, probably no face cam and, and probably no, like, over the top, just really casual live streams, maybe on Twitch or so. And uh, maybe I'll keep slowly rolling out content on the Plays channel because obviously that doesn't require any editing. Uh, it's pretty much just playthroughs or, or jam sessions. So I may, I may still do that. I'll probably put out an update. And I could have probably put out an update for this video as well. Uh, so you guys can just read up, but I didn't want to just type that out. I wanted to address you guys directly. I figured about it now, this video is probably like going to take a lot of editing. I'm not going to go over the top. I'm just going to trim it down, uh, try to make it short and sweet as possible. Although that's going to be hard because it's probably like an hour worth of recording files right now because I keep having to cut and take a breather or try to find the words and, and try and try again. Um, <laughs> long story short, um, I'm taking a break away. I don't know how long I'll be gone. And uh, I will be back. Okay. Don't think I won't be. All right. I will be back. This is my dream. This is my passion. It's been ever since I was a little kid. It's something that I want to pursue. I don't want to live a life of regrets. I will be back better than ever. Again, I don't know how long it'll take until I'm here again, but I'll keep pushing. I'll keep working until I can do this again. I, I really appreciate you. Whether you've been here from day one or whether you just joined today on this video for the first time, know that I do appreciate you and I love you a lot. And I promise to myself and to all of you that I will be back. Difficult decisions, still don't know if it's the right one, but I'm going to follow through with it because I feel that this is needed in my life right now. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for um, being on this journey with me. It's just a stepping stone, I promise. And um, until the next time you guys see me, okay, stay safe out there. Much love to you all. I hope you guys succeed in whatever you do. And I hope you all have an incredible life. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I will be back. But uh, this is goodbye for now.